voters Tuesday picking Mississippi's next senator in a special election so contentious, President Trump last night returned to the state to once again boost the embattled Republican candidate. In back-to-back -back rallies in Tupelo and Biloxi, the president threw his weight behind Republican Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith. Cindy is so important, so respected. And went after her Democratic opponent, Mike Espy. How does he fit in with Mississippi? Just it's a race that's opened up old wounds from the state's dark past. Hyde Smith came under fire this month for a comment that evoked Mississippi's history of lynchings. On Monday, a pair of nooses and hate signs were found hanging outside the Mississippi State Capitol. SP on Tuesday condemned her remarks. Her comments don't reflect the value of our state. Reports that Hyde Smith attended an all-white segregation academy in high school and pushed a revisionist view of the Civil War in the state Senate, compounding the controversy. Companies like Walmart, AT&T and Google asking that their campaign donations to Hyde Smith be returned. Despite that, SP, a former agriculture secretary under President Clinton, is still the underdog. Reuters correspondent John Whiteside. It's a very Republican state that Trump won by 18 percentage points. I think uh, SP has, has viewed the Doug Jones race in Alabama as a bit of a template. They're both Deep South reliably Republican states that Trump won big. And uh, like Doug Jones in Alabama, Espy's trying to pull off what would be a huge upset in Mississippi because a Democrat hasn't been elected to the Senate there since 1982. Jones was able to pull off a surprise victory against Republican Roy Moore, in part because Moore was accused of sexual misconduct with several women when they were teenagers and he was in his 30s. Tuesday's runoff in Mississippi was forced after neither candidate won a majority in the November 6th election and is the final Senate race to be decided this year. Even if SP does pull off an upset, Republicans will still have a majority in the Senate.